What is up? What is up? What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Midwest Tour V here back again. Well, I was just watching the um, Husky uh, Professional Series debut box on uh, Rob Dom's channel. If you guys have not checked out Rob Dom, you guys got to check him out. Awesome YouTube channel. Who am I to be supporting him? But, you know, it's a great YouTube channel. So, whatever. But the reason why I was checking out this video this time was because, like I said, he got the Husky Pro Line Professional Line Toolbox. And I thought, hmm, that's very interesting. Um, let's see what it's all about. You know, first time I ever got a chance to see it. So, watch the video and it left me thinking, man, I wish Husky had taken an opportunity to do a lot better job at um, making their um, entry or home DIY or, you know, consumer brand box, your non-professional box, because there's some things that I um, uncover, and I'm actually going to see if I can find the box. Let's see, Husky Pro. Hopefully my, my computer lasts professional tool storage okay i spelled that one wrong but hopefully it it figures it out for me there we go so here's here's the box that i have guys i got the um 80 inch which is not technically 80 the box itself of the storage cabinet is like 61 inches and then if you factor in the side cabinet you get your 81 inches uh, or your 80 inches overall length uh, but it is not, in fact, 80 inches in itself. Um, but you can see here, here's the professional one. It's a 72 by 24.6. It's coming in at $5,000. That does come with the hutch. So I guess maybe that's a pretty decent deal. It's the hutch and the bottom cabinet. Um, and then I think you can add on, yeah, you can add a side cabinet, making it 56. And then you can go on, let me see if they have it on here. You can go on and add another side cabinet. Oh, there it is, just saw it. You can go on and get this guy, where you have two side cabinets, a top and a bottom, and uh, there you go, for 66.88. And we'll hold it right there. Um, the reason why um, I was left thinking after watching the video, um, oh, computer just died, uh, kind of take took me back a little bit is because um, the quality of this particular box is not there. Um, and I'm not crapping on Husky um, or Home Depot. It's not Home Depot, it's Husky. I'm not crapping on them, but it's some things that I want to share with you that I think are all too important. So I got the box put together, right? So the Professional Series box, when you compare it to this box here, obviously you can tell that it looks like it's a different gauge of steel. I think this one here is either 16 or 18, and that's probably like a 12 or 14 gauge box as far as metal thickness. So that's gonna drastically impact the quality of the box. Now what's interesting, if you look up the Husky's 998 box, which is just the, it's like the, the one at my brother-in-law. If you ever checked out my brother, brother-in-law's uh, box on one of my previous videos, he has like the bottom and then like the folding clamshell top. Um, that box is like, I think it's 16 gauge steel. This one here is 18, that one's 16. I don't understand why Husky sells their, well, yes, I do. Why they sell their most expensive box, you know, non-professional at least, for $13.98 with, with 18 gauge steel, I believe it is, and their lesser expensive box, which is $9.98, with 14 gauge steel or whatever it is, 16, 14, 16, 18, 14, 16, I don't know what it is, but um, the, basically what I'm saying is that the cheaper box is much thicker in terms of weight or th metal thickness, which makes it, in my mind, a much stronger box. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me. And, and so that's one thing. Um, the other thing, hang on a second here. Uh, the other concern that I have is that um, looking at the overall construction of the box, um, there's some things that I wish they had done better in terms of the drawers. This is a pretty deep drawer. This is a six inch deep drawer and it's rated for like a hundred pounds or 200 pounds. I can't recall what it is, um, but you know, looking at the amount of stuff that I got in here that I'm gonna far exceed that. Anybody who is um, serious about tools, 
uh, and does the traditional box layout. This is probably how they're going to have their box laid out in terms of sockets. Um, not maybe not quite as much as I have, but certainly a lot of sockets, right? And this is far exceeding 200 pounds or whatever this jar is rated for. So does that mean that the ball bearing slides are going to fail? I don't know, but time will tell. Okay. Um, the other thing about it is the the wheels. I felt like this box has cheaper wheels when it comes to uh, they're just basic. There's shop cat right there. They're just basic wheels. When you look at their 998 series box, they're almost like a Matco esque um, wheel. That the, the design of it is is like what you would find on like a Mat Matco 6x 6s box. Basically, they have a little bit of style to them. This box is plain Jane. It does not have that. Okay. The other thing is, is that that box like my brother got for 998 came with an actual long LED strip. Whereas these things, this box here for 1398 comes with this little magnetic fluorescent light that you have to just affix to wherever you find that it's going to work best. Absolutely doesn't make any sense to me. Aside from having this big bulky um, um, outlet here, his box has built-in outlets on this side and built-in outlets on that on that side. Now, granted, I do have this side one here, down there, here, but I don't use it that often, okay? So, uh, well, in this case here, it's got a lot of things plugged into it, but it's not, it'd be more functional if I had plugs, plugins here on the side and plugins here on that side. I don't have that, okay? So that's some of my gripes. Then after I got the box installed, so okay, so the Professional Series box, they designed it in such a way to help you install it. It's still gonna take two people to install it, but there are ways to help you install it. This box here, they did not think of that, or maybe they did or just didn't care about it, but they did not make it easy for you to, to install. So you had to basically manhandle the hutch, the hutch on top of the box. You have to manhandle the side cabinet to get it affixed. And I believe, <clears throat> watching Rob Dom put the box together, I believe the same manufacturer that produced this box here is also producing the Professional Series box, which is a concern, and I'll tell you why here in a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. But the assembly process is absolutely ridiculous. It just does not help you out, even with two people, in my opinion. Uh, the next thing is is this this overall hutch see it's got the pull down hutch you can pull it i'm not going to do it right now uh, and you can close it well for someone who's my height with it which is like six or what am i five eleven almost six foot my my head literally watch this i'll show you guys see that big oil spot right there that's from my forehead <laughs> touching that so really i can't get into the box like i want to i have to I find myself having to duck so i'll have to probably eventually consider putting some wood blocks underneath this box because after all once again it's not going to move so if i don't do something to shore up the tire of the casters you're going to get flat spots that's another thing i got to think about okay the side locker here does not have any type of lighting i had to put my own little cheap lighting in here for now um, but it is absolutely unequivocally dark i mean it is super dark in here um, it does have a nice layout it is a nice size it does fit and hold a lot of material um, a lot of tools, but it, it just it isn't um, lighted, and that's a problem for me. Another thing with the side lock, and hopefully I can show you guys. Let me see here. I'm gonna try to scoot back there. Oh, no, you know, let me get a, let me get a light here. This is just I'm just giving you the giving you the full Monty on this, guys. So bear with me. Um, you see there, see there. You can see how that that magnet right there you can see how it leaves like four to five inches. So basically the hutch, the hutch and the lower box here are deeper from front to back than the side locker, which makes absolutely no sense. So you're shorted on like five to six inches, or maybe four to five inches in depth that you could theoretically use. I have some tools like my Porter power system and it, and it comes in a fairly large case I think it's 23 and a half inches or 24 inches long. Well, these boxes are like 17 or 19 inches deep. So you lose out on that extra space that is pretty much valuable for you, right? Um, oh, I know that's a lot to, to, to digest. Okay, so we talked about that. Now, the other thing is I was pretty perturbed about this. And yes, I did say perturbed. 
I got the box, got it installed. Thank God. Shout out to my brother, Mike, at Mike's Garage. He came over. He helped me install it. There would have been absolutely no way. There would have been absolutely no way that I could have installed this box by myself. Um, I absolutely uh, needed his help. So we got it all installed. It, okay, it arrived on a skid. They uh, they offloaded it into the driveway. It was packaged, well packaged, well the, pres the presentation was nice. They did a good job at packaging. So shout out to Husky Tools for that. Um, this, this is this is there's more. So if you've got this far, I'd encourage you to stay on because I'm gonna talk to you about what I heard from corporate. So hang in there. Um, I got it all assembled, got all the tools put in it, and I packed this thing up. You guys saw the socket jar. I packed that all in. I've been adding more to it by the day. I got all my wrenches. I invested in the tool widget. Shout out to Tool Widget for the wrench holders. Got all my, I got everything uploaded into this box, right? I mean, I packed this Joker up, and uh, like I said, I continue to do it on a daily. On a daily. Then, as I'm wipe, wiping the box down, I notice that. You guys see that? Right? See all that damage right there in the corner? There's no way that I could have done that. Um, so that was something that it came to me like that. And I thought back on it. I says, well, wait a minute here. I says, when we went to go pick up my brother's box, because he bought his like two days after I bought mine, or a day after I bought mine, rather, we went there. And the first thing we noticed, and granted, he got a different box. But his box was, there was like nine boxes over there, and like seven of them were missing the plate. The plate just wasn't on them. You could see the holes. It was supposed to be installed. It wasn't there. Okay, whatever. We start looking at the boxes. They said, well, pick out which, which one you want, sir. Telling him, pick out which one you want uh, because they were all pre-built. So um, we were going to have to disassemble it to load it into the truck. But uh, they were basically on the floor. So we went through, started picking out the boxes, and the next thing you know, that box got a dent, that box got a dent, that box is scraped, that box is scratched, that box has got a huge dent. We went through seven boxes before we got to the eighth box, which did not have any damage and it had all of its components there, right? So they absolutely, all the boxes on the showroom floor were just damaged. And from what Husky said, or what Home Depot says is they arrived to them like that. It is something that is not, what they claim is not caused by them, but rather the process of getting them across the pond into the U.S. and then subsequently into the Home Depot store. Okay, so I call Husky and I talk to Husky corporate. I says, hey, this is what I got. You know, Home Depot gave me like a small credit based upon a damage because I said absolutely no way was I'm going to be able to unload all of these tools and get this box back to them. Keep in mind, it came to me on a semi truck. So I got a pickup truck. There's no way. Even if I break it down, I'd be making two, three, four trips to get all the stuff here. Plus, I've got $40,000 in tools that's going to be laying around the floor until I can get a new box brought here and then put everything back again. I'm not going through all of that. So I said, gave me a small little credit, not not much at all. And then I said, they says, well, if you want anything more, call call Husky Corporate. So I proceeded to call Husky Corporate the following week, the weekday. And uh, long story short, they said, hey, yeah, we know about this problem. We have a lot of problems, a lot of warranty issues coming out of um, off for, for these particular boxes. There's a manufacturer that's offshore that is uh, not, willy, not really willing to work with them. Uh, they submit the complaints, but nothing ever happens. This is corporate now. They also said that... Um, um, when it comes to warranties, like it has to be something that they can definitively say was caused by a manufacturing defect. Otherwise, when you go in there and say, I have a warranty complaint, you're not really getting warranty service. They're going to do everything in their power just to say no to you. And that's not because of Husky. That's because of the manufacturer for which they're working with. They're not very big on accepting claims. Now, Husky is at fault because even if you have a crappy supplier that's not willing to protect you that help you take care of your customers husky should be stepping up to ensure that they are indeed taking care of home depot's customers and they just it seems like they're not there to do that so after back and forth back and forth back and forth they gave me a small little credit and we i agree to just go ahead and keep the box as it is now this is going to be the last husky box i ever buy i will never buy another husky box again i don't care what it is um, i'm going to get something different 
I hope and pray that the Husky professional line box is a not manufactured not manufactured by the same facility or company that's offshore that's producing their you know entry level boxes. Um, I hope that they're using someone else, and if they're not, um, they are never going to be able to compete with um, the likes of Matco, uh, Mac. Um, uh, snap on. I'm even concerned that they may not be to even match up to Icon. Um, Icon, from what I've seen in the stores, makes a pretty solid looking box um, for what they're asking for. And and if I remember correctly, even as a baseline box, the Husky box is more expensive than the Icon box. So I don't know how they're going to do that, especially if they're using the same manufacturer, like I said, that they're that's producing their entry level boxes. And I believe they are. And that's because there's mounting points, there's rivets and there's other types of things that I saw on the box that Rob Dom was putting together that were very indicative or uh, reminiscent of this particular box here. Um, and, and I've had a couple Husky boxes in the past, so I know. Um, that made me believe that it's more than likely the same factory that's producing their professional series box. So Husky, I know you guys are not watching it, but you guys got to do a lot better job at uh, producing your entry level boxes. I'm sorry, that's just, that's just the truth. And I want to make sure that anybody who's looking to get one of these boxes knows about that before they go and invest the money. And I also don't understand why you guys are putting more quality into your lower end box than you are your upper echelon box based upon the you know entry level series of box, not the professional, but the entry level, entry level, entry level. Sorry. Um, you got to do a better job. I would love to get my hands on it um, uh, and look at the professional series box. I hope that one a Home Depot or someone gets one of those boxes and I can actually take a look at it and compare it and then do another follow up video to that. But, um, yeah, I, I wasn't impressed. You know, like I said, shout out to Rob Dom. I'm happy he got the box. Um, I hope it works out for him. Um, he was very happy and he's a very down to earth guy anyway. So hopefully he'll have good things to report on it um, so that we all can kind of see what's going on with it. But as a DIYer and a, a typical consumer, um, goods consumer, um, I was not impressed with this Husky box at, as a term in terms of quality and uh, workmanship. Overall, the design, the layout of the box is great. I like it. Um, you know, I got the room that I need. It is allowing me to expand my tools, uh, allow me a good place to store everything. And it is, the presentation is good. I have the area for working. Um, and I'm going to try to make, make do with what I got, <clears throat> but going forward, like I said, I'll probably never buy another Husky box. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, you know, just, just, you know, based upon what I, what I can tell you now. So hope this video serves someone well. I know it's lengthy. You probably didn't watch all of it, but, um, it was an important video to get out and, uh, I hope you guys like it. So make sure you guys, you're following me on Instagram at Midwest underscore tool underscore review. Make sure that you like this channel, make sure you or like this video, subscribe to this channel and click that bell. And guys, leave a comment. If you have the Husky, let me know what your experience has been. Uh, if you just let me know what your thoughts about my video in terms of what I had to deal with and what I've experienced through talking with corporate uh, and just dealing with uh, having to try to take care of a problem with the Husky series of boxes. So, all right, guys. Love you guys. Peace.